case of shear patient for the fibula reconstruction initially uh, this is the original mandible now this has to be resected with this guide now this guide will be placed like this you can see here you have to use 2 mm diameter screws but mono cortical screws of 6 mm length you can use any two screws to fix this guide when this is fixed just do the ostotomy from this side after that this is the second guide and this will be placed in this fashion again you have to use 2 mm ka screw to fix this guide and the uh, length as 6 mm again you can use any one screw or two screws to fix the guide and do this resection after this this much amount of bone will go off point number 2 is these are the this is the whole fibula bone like this now this is in two pieces actually like this so i have printed uh, two pieces separately we are concerned with this part of the bone this is the uh, left leg of the patient left fibula of the patient and this is the distal end uh, that is the ankle end of the patient from the ankle around 8 cm as at the distance this guide will be fixed and you can see i have done the markings this will be fi getting fixed like this so this red line will come here and this hole will also come here three holes are marked in red and again this red line so you have to fix in this fashion so you come to know that where exactly the guide is going to sit when this is done you can use again 2 mm screws at any 2 3 locations to fix the guide and do the first ostotomy from this plane like this from this edge from here second from here third from here and fourth from here with this you will get two pieces this as well as this these two pieces are this is the first piece and this is the second piece now this two pieces will be aligned or will be fixed like this but this has to be fixed with the help of a recon plate so this is the mirror finish outside recon plate matte finish from inside and you can see this is how this will be placed here four screws over here now you have to use biocortical screws around 10 mm in length uh and in the sequence you have to start placing these screws like this well coming from this end this will be uh this will get attached over here in this fashion like this now you can see this at the anterior region of the preserved mandible you have four screws 2 mm length you have to use from the bottom some hug joint of plate has been given and this component and this piece and this four hole at this so finally this is how the reconstruction is going to happen